We are full on headed towards the winter and Christmas season and today I have some incredible home hacks that you need for the upcoming chilling months that you don't want to miss. Please leave me a big thumbs up and let's get on into it. I am obsessed with these little Baker's Dipping Chocolate Cups. I picked these up for around $2.50 at Walmart, but they are such like a high quality chocolate. They don't taste like melted chocolate chips or a fake cheap chocolate. They actually taste really good. This is my favorite Christmas time secret to make anything taste delicious is especially dipping like my strawberries or any type of chocolate coated candy. But you also can make these really fun, trendy chocolate dip spoons that everyone is making. And I actually like to go ahead and and make a regular cup of hot cocoa and then use these spoons to really make it like have that rich chocolatey flavor. My daughters love taking these little spoons and mixing it into their hot cocoa. Whenever it is hot it will melt down and then whether you're using the peppermints or mini marshmallows they will float to the top and it just makes it extra fun and we just love this. It's something that you can do as a family project, do it with your kids, but I like to just mix it up. I crushed some peppermint and sprinkled on some of the chocolate. I made some little snowman with mini marshmallows. And then I have some of these kind of like dehydrated marshmallows. I find these in the baking section or party section at Walmart. And they are just so fun. I love adding them to my cocoa bar. I also pick up these mini little bags in the Walmart baking section. And it's the perfect size. I just tie it on there and then display these in a little mug. But these are delicious and it definitely ups your cocoa game with the benefits of not having to to melt chocolate down in your good bowls and then never being able to get it out. Walmart is selling these empty paper cups for gift cards for three bucks. You buy a gift and then you have to pay three bucks just to package it. But if you actually hold on to your older Starbucks cups, of course you want to bring these home and wash them out really, really well, disinfect them, whatever you need to do. But I actually order my little girls hot cocos from Starbucks whenever I get coffee and they put them in these mini little kids cups and they actually double cup it or they do a lot of times when I order it and I'm sure that's for safety reasons or when they hold them. I'm not sure if everyone does this, but I I always get like an extra clean cup so this is a perfect way to get to use these now of course Starbucks is going to be coming out with their uh, signature red Christmas cup and you can pick that up instead of painting them just wash that up but I feel like it looks a little bit more crafty and creative if you just give it a coat of paint and then you could add any type of decor you wanted to I just glued on a snowflake but you can put your gift card in there maybe a little bit of this basket shred and it's just a really fun way to gift that simple gift card but make it look a little bit more nice I know going on into the winter season, we are going to go into like flu season, sick season, all of the things are coming our way and we know it. So I like to get a head start and make sure that I am taking all of my multivitamins and any type of extra supplements that I need. But it's a pain in the butt to get out all of these bottles every day and take them and try to remember them. Now, I know they have services out there where you can go online and pick which medications or supplements that you like to take and then they'll send them to you in a pre-measured out baggie like this. And it is so convenient, but those can be super pricey. So really, all you have to do is grab one of your mini muffin bags baking tins and then use each little compartment for one day. So put all of the supplements or vitamins you would take in one day in each tin and then put them in these little baggies. I found these food safe baggies on Amazon. I will link them down below. But um, they also have like AM, PM, or whatever. I just take these once a day, usually after breakfast. So you'll just have to read on what you're supposed to take or always ask your doctor if you're taking new vitamins or anything. But this makes it super, super convenient. I picked up one of these candy jars. Obviously, you want to remove the candy label as soon as possible. But I have bigger kids. I'm going to put this up high. But this makes it so convenient to grab one out of the cabinet, put it in my purse if I'm headed out the door. But I love these. So I will link those little baggies down below. Don't pass on cheap like dollar store fingernail polish. Now I know what I don't love using it myself. It scratches off easy, it peels off, especially if you're doing multiple layers, but you can actually use this on home decor pieces, especially glass like this. Um, these jars come from the Dollar Tree and they have this really cool square pattern on them. And I painted it with nail polish and it's gonna give it that transparent look to actually make it look like stained glass. So I feel like this is gorgeous. You could play around with it and use as many colors as that you would like. Um, once again, a super easy, five minute project that just really going to enhance this so I am using these jars I went ahead and did a set of three on a palette sign I painted white 
but to make a gorgeous centerpiece. And then whenever I put a candle inside of these jars, it's really going to illuminate the light and look so gorgeous. But this is so fun to get that stained, like stained window effect. It looks so nice and high end. And I'll definitely be checking out as many colors as I can get to use for each season. So I love to make myself little baskets or containers just to hold my lint. It just makes it less messy for me. I set this on top of my washer or dryer and it's just easy to clean the dryer out and throw it in there. But what do you do with all that lint? So a really fun hack is that you can actually use this to start campfires, whether you're doing like an outdoor uh, campfire while you're camping or just like a little fire pit. It makes it super easy just to stuff this underneath your wood and it lights it up without having to sit there and try to relight it over and over. I know it sounds crazy, but I love to craft with things that smell good. When you add little pieces around your home that smell good, whenever you pass by or whatever, it just adds that extra little like coziness and you're not having to worry about freshening up that space over and over. A really fun hack is to use these car air fresheners. Now this was a fun challenge. All you have to do is take the little trees. I cut out some scrapbooking paper using the trees as a pattern and then kind of sandwiched on the scrapbooking paper and then use these as a little garland. No one is ever going to know that these are car air fresheners, but I made an adorable Christmas sign that is really going to smell good and be so super cozy and cute. Um, but I love this. It is so much fun. Now, heads up, this did turn my hands a little bit green when working with them, but it easily just washed it off and it does smell strong when you first get them out of the package, but then the smell will kind of dim down a little bit, but I just love this. I think it is a really cool idea and so many ways you could incorporate these into just everyday decor. If you're having a hard time finding Christmas or winter decor out at your stores just yet, you can use some Epsom salt and just some faux snow, mix it together and do so many things with this. So get a head start on your Christmas crafting. I love how these little jars light up. They look so gorgeous and make your home feel so cozy. But all I do is use some Mod Podge to coat the jars and then using the mixture of the Epsom salt and the faux snow, I cover that, let it dry. You can even add a second layer of the Mod Podge over the top so nothing falls out, but give them a couple little embellishments of the berries and these are just so much fun and I cannot wait to make these on a bigger scale. Don't throw out that mixture just yet but an incredible hack is to put it on the back of a picture frame and it makes it look like a frosted window. This is so much fun. I used some silver letters to put baby it's cold outside and then I really wanted this to pop off so that you would be able to read it and it wouldn't get washed out sitting against my gray walls. So I just took some white chalk paint and then kind of just painted over the back, let that completely dry and then added some Mod Podge around the edges and this is what's going to give it that perfect frosted window look and then I added in some more of this mixture but I love this and once again I cannot wait to make a bigger version of this it would be so much fun to find like a huge clearance picture frame um from like a higher end store and make a huge version of this but the little like epsom salt glitters in the light and looks so gorgeous i added these little snowflakes on top but definitely one of my favorite projects So you can pick up a plain rug pretty much anywhere for very inexpensive. The Dollar Tree actually had these $1 rugs and these are perfect to cover up like a bigger rug and just switch out the smaller one for each season. Maybe you could get like a large like black or neutral color rug and this is just a very inexpensive way to switch it up. So I cut out a Christmas tree using my Cricut but you can grab any of Dollar Tree's vinyl and actually cut one of these out by hand. Just trace a little tree on there. You could easily sketch one out and use that 
that adds your stencil. And I'm using some green and brown paint and kind of angling these different ways to look like they're scattered little trees, but I love this. Also another one of my favorite projects. I can't wait to make some more of these, but it looks so gorgeous and something that I can use for years to come. So if you are hosting this winter season, this Christmas season, and you need a really quick centerpiece, or maybe you're not that crafty, all you have to do is go to the dollar store, grab any style of wreath that you see. And I found this cute little ring. It's like a small wreath, but any size will work. Even the great big ones will work. Um, but I grabbed this for five bucks at Dollar General, and I'm sticking one of these large glass containers. You can pick these up at the dollar store. You can pick these up at Walmart or Hobby Lobby, but stuck that down in the middle and then added in a candle. This takes no time time at all but it looks so gorgeous in the middle of your table i actually wrapped this little candle in some jingle bells just to be extra fun but this is so gorgeous lit up and it looks like you really tried hard thank you guys so much for checking out today's video leave me some comments what are some hacks that you do whenever it's starting to get chilly outside or some traditions or routine that you do every winter or Christmas to get ready for the season? Please leave me a big thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Happy crafting. Bye.